all affection on personal relationships. It was real um, disconcerting to me. <laughs> True. <laughs>
you know, or in a sense, you can think of that maybe the Mussolinis and the Hitlers and the mass murderers are, are the ones that tend to get put into the special hate category, you know, like, that's Boston. I, who could do such things? And the, the uh, Hitlers get in one category, and the, and the Mother Teresa's <laughs> fit nicely over here, and, you know, it's, oh, everyone loves Mother Teresa, but it splits the sonship up. But it, it even goes more to, to objects in the sense that, you know, it's possible to form special relationships with with cars, with houses, with um, food, particular food, with particular climates, with particular you know Job. body forms, jobs, and, and in a sense, there's an ordering that's going on, and and it's kind of like um, when we were talking at the very beginning, we we got into perception, and you were saying it was kind of highly individualized, that each seeming fragment or ego fragment seems to have a hierarchy of special things that are highly valued in this world, and then some things that are like, well, take it or leave it, and then the ones that are indifferent or downright rough <laughs> to be avoided. And and that's like a configuration or a, an ordering that takes place. It's all an avoidance of the core issues that I can't face that I think I'm separate Yeah. So all these relationships are, are ways to hang on to the avoidance of going within. Yeah. They're, they're distractions in the sense that we talked about at the beginning. The mind is so afraid of, of not only of the dark belief, the, the, seemingly the ego in there, but it's, it's afraid of what's beneath the ego, which is the light. It's terrified, because the ego has said, don't go near that light. You know, God, you pulled yourself away from heaven, and boy, if you ever get down here into the mind and go back to that light, that light will just strike you dead so fast, you know, it will obliviate, just obliviate you. So the mind has kind of run away from the light and into the form, into the world of specifics. And it's kind of like clinging and attaching itself to specific form as to give itself some meaning because it feels like it's thrown away the kingdom of heaven.